to heal the rationale and justification and it will be a complete guide about the lipto dissection in cartoon esophagus we have designed this tutorial in a way that the medical student preparing for neat or pg and super specialty able to understand uh, all the details about lipanectomy in cartoon esophagus i hope we'll be able to add some new insight to your knowledge So there is a uh, major change in the lipro status uh, from 6th to 7th AJCC classification. In the 6th edition, uh, defined regional liptodes N1 as those in the perisphagian, mediastinal and perigastric areas. Cervical and celiac axis nodes were regarded as distant metastasis and designated as M1A status. That is a very important thing to remember that cervical and celiac axis lymph nodes were considered as a metastatic status. In AGC 7, there was a major modification. The regional lip nodes were redefined to include any parasitic node extending from thoracic inlet to celiac axis. Subclassification of M1A and M1B is limited. Again, it is important to remember uh, this uh, change. The seventh addition accounted for nodal burden by classifying the number of, number of involved lip nodes into category N1, that is 1 to 2, N2, 3 to 6, and N3. Uh, that is seven or more. Uh, in the AGC 8th edition, uh, the nodal nomenclature is as in the 7th edition and there is no major change. Uh, data showed that number of involved lymph nodes was a strong predictive factor for survival. Hence, the number of regional lymph nodes positive for tumor was stratified as N1, N2, N3, 1 to 2, 3 to 6 and uh, 7 or more as in the 7th edition of AGCC. The major change was from 6 to 7, that was the deletion of M1A and M1B status. So in the AGC 8th edition, uh, the regional lip nodes are defined uh, from 1 to 20 and where R is for the right side, L is for the left and uh, uh, we have, one has to memorize and uh, these numbers. So one is right and left, lower cervical paratypical lip nodes and supraclavicular paratypical lip uh, upper paratracheal lymph nodes, right and left. 3P is posterior mediastinal nodes above tracheal bifurcation. 4 is uh, lower paratracheal nodes, right and left. 5 is iotopulmonary nodes. 6 is anterior mediastinal nodes. And 7 is subcanal nodes. 8 is divided into upper, middle, and lower. Uh, that is uh, upper, middle, and lower thoracic parasocial lymph nodes from apex of lung to tracheal bifurcation, uh, from inferior pulmonary vein to esophageal gastric junction. Uh, that is tracheal bifurcation to inferior pulmonary vein to east way gas in the upper, middle, and lower. Uh, that is uh, that is how they are divided. Nine is right inferior pulmonary ligament, and ten is uh, tracheobronchial lip nodes. Uh, Fifteen is diaphragmatic nodes lying on the dome of diaphragm. Sixteen is pericardial nodes immediately adjacent to the gastroesophageal junction. 17, 18 is left gastric and common hepatic, that is 7 and 8, left gastric and common hepatic in uh, gastric cancer. 19 is splenic artery lymph nodes, proximal splenic artery lymph nodes. And 20 is uh, celiac artery lymph nodes at the base of celiac artery. So, uh, briefly, uh, the TNM staging, TX is primary tumor cannot be assessed, T0 is no evidence of primary tumor. TIS is high grade dysplasia defined as malignant cell confined to the epithelium by basement membrane. T1 is tumor invades lamina propria, uh, muscular mucosa, submucosa. T1 is tumor invades the lamina propria or muscular mucosa. T1 B is tumor invades the submucosa. T2 is tumor invades the muscular propria. Uh, muscular propria invasion is T2 in all the uh, tumor uh, of all the organ except for the gallbladder in which uh, T1. B is uh, muscular mucosa involvement, muscular property involvement, sorry, T1B because there is no submucosa. T3 is tumor invades adventitia. T4 is tumor invades adjacent structures. T4 is tumor invades the pleura pericardium, ejaculus pain, diaphragm, peritoneum that are resectable structure. And T4B is when it invades the non sectable structure and the tumor becomes unsectable, that is, it invades other adjacent structures such as the iota, buttered body, or airway, which makes it unsectable. N1, N2, N3 is 1 to 2, uh, 3 to 6, and 7 or more, as I discussed. And historical grades are G1, G2, G3, uh, as we all know. Japanese classification is more extensive for the uh, lymph node staging from AGCC. 
Uh, another fundamental difference is that AGC clumps together different tumor locations for the nodes and total number of positive nodes for end staging are counted, irrespective of the location of the lymph nodes. In Japanese staging, uh, different for base tumor location and the extent of lipidectomy as per the location of tumor group, that is D0, there is no formal lipidectomy. D1 is group uh, 1 lymph node uh, dissection. D2 is group 2 lip node dissection and D3 is group 3 lip node dissection. The extent of lip nectomy the D0, D1, D2, D3 are related to the location of tumor as in the gastric cancer. So uh, the abdominal lip nodes are divided from 1 to 20. Uh, and uh, the thoracic and cervical lymph nodes are from 100 to 114 and one uh, major difference is that uh, uh, this uh, supraclavicular lymph uh, node group uh, in uh, Japanese esophageal uh, classification that 104 uh, is still classified as extra regional uh, node in the latest 8th edition that becomes at M1 status in AGCC but it is, it is a, uh, still in the regional lymph nodes as per the Japanese classification uh, of uh, 11th edition of Japanese classification uh, of lymph nodes for CS of Agus. So uh, like uh, I said uh, they have divided into D1, D2, D3 group and uh, according to number like for cervical uh, that is encircled in the uh, red uh, this uh, rectangle so uh, D1 will be 101 and 106 recurrent lesion nerve and uh, D2 will be that N2 will be 102, 104, 105 and uh, D3 will be uh, number 100 lymph node station so for every location they have uh, divided the lymph node group uh, in D1, D2, D3 and uh, for uh, so D3 dissection, one has to clear all the D, uh, lymph nodes in D1, D2 and D3 group. Uh, so similarly for upper cervical, lower, upper thoracic, middle thoracic, lower thoracic, abdominal, uh, they have uh, class, uh, classified the lymph node group into N1, N2 and N3 groups.